right guys so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to your channel banner then you're gonna click the little pencil on the right and you're going to select edit channel art and then when that pops open you're gonna go ahead and go to the bottom and select how to create channel art all right from here you're gonna be redirected to this page and you're gonna go down and click on image size and file guidelines and then you're gonna go down and download the channel art templates all right, from here you're going to go to PicMonkey and you're going to go to Edit and My Computer and that is where you're going to get your template wherever you downloaded it to and open that up. All right, so this is how the template looks. We only need the area that says Text and Logo Safe Area. You don't want to go outside of those lines. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the butterfly icon. We're going to go to Geometric and just pick black triangles, whatever shape will work. And we want to make these a little bit bigger just to cover up any other area other than the safe area. All right, now I'm gonna to go to the icon that's a wand and I'm gonna go down and select draw. Okay, then I'm gonna choose whatever color you want as your background. I'm In this case, I'm gonna choose white because I am making a very simple um, banner, but if you guys want me to make super colorful ones or if there's any particular um, banner that you would like me to recreate from a different youtuber then let me know and I can create a video on that All right, so now we're going to go in and add a text So we're just going to add a text and in this case there's like so many different kinds PicMonkey has a lot of free ones, but if you want you can go to Defont and get different ones This one I chose was Lavanderia, which I believe is like washroom, I don't know but um, here at the end is when I choose that one, and I think that one's a pretty good fit. As you can tell, I'm one very undecisive bish. Alright, so now you can go in and do the fun part, which I think it's fun. Me, I had a lot of saved images, so I'm just going to use what I have so I can show y'all really quick. But I like plants. I like white, black. It just looks really simple, very clean. And I'm just going to be adding a few plants. Um, I also found a few logos. Um, you can shout yourself out, obviously. You can put your social media. Um, I'm, in this case, I'm going to add my Instagram, my Snapchat. I'm going to put my names on there. And we are going to also add just a lot of green. And what you want to do is you want to put the plants behind your name just so that it can look like it's in the background and it's not overpowering your name. So go ahead and right click. And then once you right click, it'll show show layers palette. And then you can go ahead and click on the name and then move that to the front and so on. Just kind of play around with it and you will get more familiar with it. And then honestly do what you want. Like move everything around where you want it, how you feel it looks good. You know, kind of space things out accordingly. And yeah, just make it look how you want. And that's all. There's no really wrong or right way to do this, so I'm just kind of giving you the gist of it. Here at the end, I really wanted to add in a quote or just something extra, so I put new video every Wednesday and Sunday. Yay, I'm going to be having new videos, guys. A lot more videos coming. But um, yeah, so I wanted to squeeze it down there, and I moved everything around, made it look nice and neat. Right, and now when you feel your masterpiece is complete, Go ahead and remove those templates that we added, the black grids, just to kind of hold everything. You're going to take all of that, delete it, and go ahead and export this in PNG file and just save it to your computer. All right, and then to go ahead and add this to your channel, go back to your channel where it should still be open. Select the blue button there and go ahead and look for your picture and add it and it will upload onto your banner. And just hit save. Alright, then here it'll just ask you if you want to adjust anything and that's how it's going to look on all three devices, your phone, your computer, your laptop, and then just hit save and you're done. Alright, and that's it guys. Um, here you'll see the transformation. I wanted it to be less colorful, more simple. So if you guys want another video like this, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you want me to recreate one of your favorite YouTubers banners and let me know if you want me to make it a little bit more simple for you so that you can kind of have something that's inspired from them, not exactly copied, but you get the point. Let me know. I will talk to you guys in my next video, and do not forget to subscribe for more videos like this from me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.